Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company. And today I wanna to talk about wildflowers. We get so many calls about wildflowers. How do you plant them? What's the best way to plant them? Well, I'm here to help you be very successful with your wildflower gardens this year. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we put out a video. Now let's get to it. Okay, wildflowers, everybody loves them. It's a great way to add color and to feed pollinators and native bees in your area, but a lot of people don't know exactly how to plant them. So I'm gonna give you some tips. Here in zones nine and 10, in the cool season or our winter, <laughs> um, sometimes we get rain and it's a really good time to plant your, your wildflowers before the cool season when we get moisture. Now this particular year, we haven't gotten much rain at all. And so if you were to just take your seeds and toss them into the garden, you wouldn't be very successful. So let me show you how we do it, which allows us to be very successful and make sure that we have plenty of wildflowers on our farm to feed the pollinators. So we actually start all of our wildflowers in trays before we plant them out. I know it's a little more time consuming than just tossing the seeds out, but our success rate is so much better than broadcasting. And that's because we haven't gotten much rain this year. If we were to just toss the seeds out, they won't grow very well. So we start them all in either trays like this, which I really like because we can just take these trays, we can break up all the different varieties and, and, and plant them out. You can see in here, this is actually our Southwest mix. We've got different types of yarrow. There's different poppies in here, all kinds of flowers that do really well for the American Southwest in this mix. We also do them in trays like this. So this is our California bluebell, beautiful flower. Cobalt blue blooms on this gorgeous, very easy grow um, wildflower. And by starting them in these trays, I can plant them out into the garden when they're big enough to be successful. You can see this guy's, you know, it's a good looking plant there and I can put out into the garden. Now we do this because we have our greenhouse, we have the space to do it, we have the trays and everything else. Let's say you don't have all of this equipment and you don't wanna put this much energy into it. If you were to plant your seeds directly into the garden, you have to make sure you prep the area first, which means you need to rake up any debris, clear out any weeds, water before, plant your seeds, water after, and then you have to monitor the area for the whole time that those seeds are germinating to pull out any invasive weeds, we've got a lot here in California, and to make sure that they're moist the whole time so that they can grow really successfully. Some years are easier than others. When we get lots of rain here in Southern California, you can toss seeds out and they'll almost surely germinate. This year, not the case. So remember, if you're gonna start wildflowers, we recommend that you start them in trays, get them to a nice healthy size and then plant them out. But if you're gonna toss them directly into the garden, you need to take care of them like you would any other plant until they get big enough that they can take care of themselves. So that's a little bit about wildflowers and how you plant them in the garden. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you can be notified anytime we put out a video that's gonna help you grow.